everybody and welcome back to the channel to the start of a little mini vlog series I'd say as we're off on an adventure up to sunny Skegness for four days in Butlins. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a lot of family members coming with um, other kids as well so Paisley's going to have people to play with. The weather looks insanely good this weekend so we've been so lucky. It's always hit and miss when you go out in the UK like what's it going to be pouring with rain or nice and sunny even at the like height of summer. But yeah it looks great. We're going to have a lot of fun and I will take you along. We're not far away now at all from Butlins in the lovely Skeg Vegas. We're going. <laughs> we are, aren't we, my darling? Oh, there you are. <laughs> 12 minutes, 11 now, sweetheart, and then we're there. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a lowdown on our trip. So this was actually booked last summer because my mother and grandmother brought Paisley here on like a little weekend getaway just for her to have a bit of fun. Um, last year when everything was just like opening up again and when you book on resort to come back in the future you do get quite a good discount so they did that and then the trip just grew and grew with more and more family members adding on so we're all heading up today we're staying there in a there are a lot of people well, you're like a flow to your head one side then the other side <laughs> Staying in a silver two bed apartment, I think it's called the Turtle Quay or Turtle Court or something about a turtle, so that's quite nice. We like turtles, don't we? I like turtles. Last time we had a turtle as well as a resort, but we I forgot what it was called. I have a very good memory. You do have a very good memory. And Pacey said that the room that she had last year was really quite nice, didn't you? So it'll either be upstairs or downstairs. We're not yeah. sure yet. Upstairs or downstairs. If, so basically, if you have a bottom, you want the bottom of If you have a bottom? No. I mean, have you got a bottom? As an apartment. I see. Apartment. <laughs> you won't have a roof. Well, you have a roof. Just but you, you won't have the actual upstairs. roof. Okay. I was hoping to see the Skeg Vegas sign that they've done. It's at the Skegness Raceway, but it's like <laughs> the wrong side of... Where, where are we? Where are we going? Skegness! Skeg Vegas! Skeggy, Skeggy, Sunny Skeggy. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny, Mummy. <laughs> yeah, it's at the Skegness Raceway, which is like the other side of the town. So perhaps we'll see it on the way out. It looks really good, like the Vegas sign, but Skeg Vegas. We made it! Woo! So we've just done like the little drive-through sign-in, got our pack. It was quite funny actually, because on our booking reference, the lady pulled out like seven big envelopes <laughs> for all our party. But yeah, she was very lovely, very friendly. Gave us a nice welcome. We're just heading down to our building. It's Turtle Court, part of Starfish Key. So lovely sea creature theme, being here near the sea. And then we can go and enjoy the amenities until our room's ready. We are officially ready to Butlins. <laughs> so we've come round and just located where our room is here at Turtle Court. We're gonna be in room number 12, which is ground floor, which is good. And it actually says it up the top there, Starfish Key Turtle Court. It won't be ready yet, sweetheart. It's coming up for three o'clock. How do you know? Don't, uh -oh. don't look at that. <laughs> That's where the spiders live. <laughs> so we've got an hour or so until our room's ready. You ready to have some fun, make some memories, baby girl? Yeah. Yeah, what are we gonna to do today? We're going to do Hex for Ducks no matter what. That's what Pacey remembers and is very, very keen to do. I think we're going to go to a disco. We're going to have some nice dinner. And, and just there's explore. A swingy, there's a swingy thing where you sit on a swing and go round and round and it's really fun. <laughs> I want to go in it. Right, so we found my mother and Sean and grandparents and their rooms are all near ours. We're all in like a little court, which should be quite nice for the kids when the others get here a bit later on. And we're gonna head over to the Skyline Pavilion and just get our bearings, because I haven't been here in like five years or so. I've been here quite a lot, like in the past, um, historically, but not in recent years. So I need to get my bearings, find out where our room is in relation to all of the amenities and entertainment. Yeah, it's lovely. It's so nice and warm as well. It's, it feels like a proper summer's day. Really, really nice. 
So quite handily, we've just popped out of our little block near the supermarket, like a little news agent for all the bits and bobs. We have bought snacks with us, but that'll be super handy to have clothes as well. Hey, we're on a proper seaside holiday, baby girl. <laughs> Heading on into the Skyline Pavilion now. It's only like a five minute walk from our room, which is really handy, but let's prepare for crowds and noise because it's going to be four days full of it. So I've just found these two. And of course, the first stop is the arcade. There's a Mickey next to us. I think he's gone for the little octopus guy. She's I can, the gift store I well. can already see those pound signs. <laughs> oh, nearly hit my mid guy. Right, here comes the master. Is mummy going to do it? Oh my god, oh my god. So, centre stage here in the pavilion is where some of the bigger nighttime shows are. The other location is Reds, which we came by outside luckily it's our side of the pavilion which is good um lots of restaurants and stuff in here and we're just going to go see where we're eating tonight so we know where we're coming so obviously food is top priority i know i'm not in orlando but little touches of florida just follow me everywhere so there's like a transformers meet and greet where i think it actually says that optimus prime will be later <laughs> And then the restaurant where we eat tonight on the premium dining plan is called the Yacht Club, like the Disney Resort. Okay, he's making a wish in this um, magical tap outside of Water Splash World. It's quite cool actually, it looks nice against those blue skies. Paisley will be wishing that when she touches water, she turns into a mermaid, because that's always her wish and it's the cutest thing. There's loads of places to eat around as well that aren't on the dining plans, but we've got the premium dining plans, so that should save us a bit of money rather than um, going to the outside restaurants. There's the Skyline Pavilion, which looks lovely against that blue, blue sky. And I'll do a quick pan of the outdoor splash pad area, but there are people on there, so I'll try and get a bit more of a, a better view of that early tomorrow, but it looks fun. We've all just had a seat in the main pavilion just to get a little drink and sit down and make kind of a plan for the rest of today. Um, the other just ordering our drinks and Paisley and I are going to the shop called Toy Box which is a massive great toy store that she spotted as soon as we walked by it, didn't you? And she actually remembered that she bought, you can jump, whoa, she bought Squishmallows here last year so we are off to look for Squishmallows. <laughs> We're not even in yet. <laughs> Someone must have built that. That's awesome, isn't it? And look at that. It's good to see that they've got buckets and spades and things here because the seaside is literally just um, across the way. We're basically on the sea next to it anyway. So they're good. We brought ours with us from last time. But there's all the toys that kids love in here. Paisley's got some spending money. So we're going to... Oh, look, there's a tiger on the floor, darling. You're gonna eke out your money and perhaps choose your toy on the last day, aren't you? Our first little bit of Butlin's fun is meeting Rainbow, Rainbow the Skyline Hello, Crew Hello. dog. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I'm in your way. Oh, you're fine, thank you. Oh, look. <laughs> So I've just um, put our little QR code in and got Paisley's picture with Rainbow. It's super cute. It's £30 to buy all these photos. We've not decided yet whether or not we can do that because we're probably not going to be in here all that much. You're wobbling this table around with that putty, aren't you, baby? <laughs> but now it's time to go and see our room, darling. So, as it's gone four o'clock now, we've just used our key cards and they did work to come into our room. This is a two-bedroom apartment. So you come through... You have. <laughs> you just come through to the left and it's the main bedroom. So you've got your double, a bit of hanging space, iron, ironing board, tinsy tiny TV, kettle, bit of um, storage, some plugs. Glad I bought an extension lead. That's locked. I guess that's for the three bedroom um, apartments that they have as well. You've got your little bathroom, like a caravan bathroom. The toilet, the sink, the shower, clothes horse, 
loud fan. And if you go to the right, you see Paisley. And if you go to the right, you do see Paisley's room. Look I at you. <laughs> Paisley, you've got two beds. Which one are you going to sleep in? First night that, second night that. You're going to alternate. What about your third night? That. <laughs> okay, cool. And we have got quite a nice little view of the court out there. I'm glad we're on the ground floor. Apparently my mother did request that when she booked it. Paisley's been unpacking her little shoes already and Rob's Where just gone. The rest of my thing? Rob's just gone to the car, sweetheart, to get everything out. So we're in, we've unpacked what we're unpacking. I don't unpack everything. Paisley wanted to unpack in her room and I've got like toiletries and shoes and things like that out and put them in their rightful places. So Plenty of room in here for the three of us. I'm really glad I bought an extension loo because there aren't many plugs in our room. So that's going to be really, really good. Paisley has got two beds, you're right, which is quite exciting for her. She quite likes that concept. I believe we're now going to freshen up and head out for a little bit more exploring while we wait for dinner. So it's currently about half past four and we've decided that we're going to eat at the Yacht Club tonight and it's kind of like a buffet, so it shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna head there for about half past five and then head to Red's entertainment venue for half past six because that's when the like family style entertainment starts. I think there's like a party disco. Oh, Percy, do you want to let them rob him? It is Rob, I saw him come past the window, sweetheart. They've got like a party disco, family game show, and then the Latino show if we fancy that after as well so it's all go 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 which is what we actually quite like when we come on holidays while we go to florida so much we're busy and active people so yeah here's rob with his case as well hello baby girl's had a little outfit change haven't you my queen mm -hmm. she's got a zara dress on claire's accessories little flower band and you look amazing thank you <laughs> as do you sir so don't you just love that, like coming on a little holiday and the kids all getting changed and dressed up ready for the evening disco. Well, I think it's like the cutest thing and I remember doing it when I was small. Saying that, I haven't got myself changed for tonight personally. I probably should have but I'm, I'm too hot, I need to get out of that room. It's quite hot so we've opened the windows and like closed the blinds, trying to get it to cool down ready for bedtime. I can't sleep when it's too hot so wish me luck. There's literally so so much to do here, like they have the aerial adventures high ropes there's a football area there's a tennis court down near where we're staying and that's on top of like all the normal entertainment i think it's a laser quest and a soft play fun fair all sorts but we are off to find the little beach area guys my shoes match my butlins band <laughs> if we lose mummy just look at people's feet look at mummy's feet <laughs> Family! <laughs> Six pound from Sainsbury's, you can't knock them. We were just saying, weren't we, Rob, about our first impressions. Yeah. And it, it's, it's lovely, like, lovely concept and everything, but we can definitely see that there's certain areas that need some TLC, like the paint on the apartment and things are a bit... It's, it's just seen better days. We've just come over to this beach area and we can see, like, we're miles away, but it looks a bit grim <laughs> very very cool idea like i love it patty's gonna love it but bring your sanitizer yeah <laughs> giant ice cream cone here we go come out of the Lovely. gates so it is a nice beach isn't it it's pure sand rather than rocks and stones which is good the gates that connect butlins to this seafront are only open from nine till five and it's like two minutes to five so the guard just said we can have literally two minutes to have a look and then we have to go back in but this is gorgeous with these blue skies and that it's so nice isn't it i think we'll spend a bit of time down here over the weekend because the weather is meant to be lovely i lose my breath whenever i see you you stole my heart what is it that you do <laughs> robert enjoying the giant beach you'll see what i mean about the deck chair in the background guys it's kind of filthy Pacey's found a giant pink donut to climb on. And we're just having a little chill here with all the um, extra large beach items. It's really lovely. Minus the filth. <laughs> wow, that is so big. We've come for a little go in the arcade. The flashing lights just drew this baby girl in and she's having to go on everything. <laughs> but I think we're nearly out of our allowance for today. 
Rob's getting a bit carried away over there with the two peas as well. How are you getting on? <laughs> and we've won free lollipops. We've come to the yacht club for our evening meal and breakfast runs from 8 to 11. I'm looking forward to that tomorrow already. And dinner's from 4.30 till 7.30. We've come at half past five. And these are the prices for kind of on the door. Well, that buffet selection is actually really quite good. There's a huge variety. Lots of kids and some more interesting bits up there for adults as well. Crazy just come up with me, didn't you, darling? Made all your choices. So we've got some... You've drunk all the apple? Yeah. Yep, we've gone here. So paisley has got some chicken and rice, and carrots and sweet corn and some chips as well. You chose so much, we had to spread it on two plates, didn't we babe? <laughs> Rob's gone for... The Italian feast. An Italian <laughs> feast, yeah. Pizza, meatballs, lasagna, G bread. And I'm gonna head up in a second as well. The dessert section is also amazing. So Paisley has a fruit salad and some jelly and there's some cheese and crackers. You don't like the jelly, mummy will eat it for you. <laughs> We've had a really fun day, haven't we? Yeah. We had a nice evening, like we had the dinner. What were your thoughts on dinner at the Young Club? Good. It was good, wasn't yeah. it? There was a lot of variation of food. I think I've got some clips that you may have just seen. There's loads and loads of food. Eat as much as you want, and we did <laughs> that. <laughs> Feel, <very> <laughs> Feel too full to move and then leave. But yeah, that was good. And um, we've got breakfast tomorrow, either at the Yacht Club or the other one. I can't remember what it's called, can you? No. They're perhaps, both the same menus, so... Yeah, perhaps we'll try the other one tomorrow and see what it's like. Mm. Just in there, just for a, a little change-up, shake-up. But yeah, we did that. And then we went to Red's, the entertainment venue, for the Tots Disco. And we were going to wait for the game show, but it was like an hour later. And Paisley did a little bit of dancing, but then she'd, she'd had enough. Like, she was tired. It's been a long day. We had a lot of travel, didn't we? Yeah. A lot of excitement this afternoon. So she was quite tired. She's trying to go off to sleep now. I probably shouldn't be talking so loudly, but there we go. So we didn't stay there that long. We probably stayed in there for about half an hour. Yeah, but that, that, that was enough for me, to be honest. Yeah, very loud, very sweaty, very full, very crammed. Larry. Yeah, yeah. That was that. And then we come back and we've just been playing like out on the grassy area outside of our little room. Was playing um, Duck Duck Goose, charades, some football with my nan. So that was all quite fun. And then the other kids got here. So that chirped her up a little bit and they've been playing. And tomorrow morning we're off for our breakfast, as I say. And then there's some swimming More to be food. done. Yeah, no. <laughs> we're going to be rolling home at this round. Yeah. <laughs> it happens wherever we go we just oh, if it's there we eat it food is a magnet to us <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah what are your first impressions of butlands it's, it was good when we first got here yeah and then the later that it got becomes really leery it woke up a loud, bit yeah flashing lights everywhere i think i've seen more topless tattooed men walking around with bottles of beer than i ever needed to see in my entire <laughs> life this afternoon alone me tomorrow. <laughs> no, no it will not i need, I need to fit in <laughs> Absolutely will not. but yeah everyone seems to be having a nice time and that's the main thing yeah. isn't it we're making the most of it the kids are gonna absolutely love it tomorrow it's gonna be another sunny day the weather will be good that's all that matters yeah yeah we're hoping to pop down to fantasy island either tomorrow afternoon or perhaps sunday so that'll be mm. fun a couple of coasters to check out that we've never done i've i've been to fancy island quite a few times in the past but i've never done them I'm, i've always been a bit too scared but 
I've done Velocicoaster now. I can I can, can do, do anything, anything apart from stealth. I thought I can't Clark. Feel that sea breeze through my hair. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna end this one here anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a different one from us, but and apologies for the lighting. Yeah, it's uh, I've got a bit of a beacon next to me here. Mm. If it's not my forehead I've, gleaming away, it's I've your actually got a really, I've actually got a really good tan, and you cannot uh, see it sure? one bit. <laughs> Cast for the friendly ghost <laughs> says good night, everybody. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye bye. bye.